The following video contains scenes of violence, adult themes, suggested dialogue, and coarse language, such as shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Enigmatica 2. Uh, this is episode 4. Uh, we, well, spoiler alert, I may have made a jetpack. An electric jetpack. We don't have the ability to make all the, the fun fuels yet. However, uh, jetpack, the electric jetpack. Yeah, this, I was going to say, this takes some um, biogas. Uh, we, we don't have the ability to make that, but we do have power. Um, and speaking of power, I have been working on the machine setup. And um, yeah, so a couple of things, a couple of things. Actually, you know what? This is going to gonna drive me batty. I don't need the electric vet back right now. I, I'll, I'll show you, you know what? I'll show you why I had it on. This is this is the reason. They kept going out this door and over the building to back here. Because this is where I'm making, I have set it up so we can make plastic. Um, so basically how it works is these tree fluid extractors, I got three of them going. They're actually really cheap to make. Um, they weren't they weren't very expensive um, like that's that's super super straightforward furnace uh, an iron gear is actually ridiculous it, it's just four pieces of iron I don't know why this recipe exists but it's interesting five pieces instead of four doesn't make any sense to me but whatever each their own um, so anyways that's a really simple recipe but um, it took me a little while to figure it out because I kept coming across uh, that we needed um, plastics. Uh, or sorry, rubber. Because for a bunch of these uh, specific cables, you need rubber. Um, there is a cable in here. It's a uh, insulated tin cable. And this became like a very, very specific thing. So I realized, oh, well, there's no rubber trees around, but I can, can we make plastic? And I was like, oh, oh, maybe. And then how do you make dry rubber? Oh, you need these tiny dry rubber balls and you get them from latex processing units. So it didn't take, it took a little bit of time to figure it out. But once I figured it out, we're all good to go there. Um, don't mind this. This is a disastrous me trying to figure out alternate power for for it and then basically what I ended up doing was just grinding the materials to make additional solar panels uh, because power was becoming a pretty significant bottleneck uh, and this I have set up because oh my god these things are possibly the most annoying sound in the game they just come on and they're like oh, oh and it's just it, it's so monotonous to have it in the background. It, it really, it, it's really brutal. A couple of things I've learned. A couple of things. Uh, mechanisms cabling uh, is not very good. <laughs> That's, let's put it that way. The mechanism, uh, where are they? Cable, mechanical pipe. Universal cables. These are really not that good. Um, so what I ended up doing was I ended up branching into uh, Ender IO and and using their cables because I know Ender IO cables are are awesome. Um, I also really like them because uh, let me see if I can find an example really quickly. But the uh, you can run power and there. You can run power and uh, items in the same block space. You see what I mean? Like how those, like the green one, green one is is uh, is items, yellow is power. So running them in the same block space, oh my god, the greatest thing ever. Made an ender chest. Uh, there's nothing in it right now because what I've done is, let's see if I can show you this a little bit. Because ender chests are a little different in mod packs. Now, where did you end up going? There you are. Um, this ender chest, yeah, there's three little things on it. You can actually uh, turn, this is a combination. The idea that you can 
make it so um it say say you want to uh you want to have six different ender chests you just different use different colors on this so this is the white ender chest but i can use if i go red white red it's a completely different inventory that's kind of the cool part about the new the ender chests in modded uh and then what i've done here is uh i've made it so the uh the turtles have an ender chest that's all white and it's spitting them out it's, they come all white, so I just haven't dyed them. But um, because of that, I wonder if I can sleep and make that rain go away. Probably. Uh, but basically, everything the turtle mines, it dumps into that inner chest. And I have it set up, so also my uh, my pick, this pick, right, is set to this inner chest. Right? So whenever I mine a block it's going to go into that inner chest. And then I have a couple of filters set up here, right? So these won't get pulled out of this, but they'll get pulled out of here, right? And they'll go down, they go into here, and then they get sorted into the enormous wall o cabinetry. Um, these drawers are going to be uh, temporary storage. And temporary probably for a significant bit of time, but temporary nonetheless. We're gonna we're gonna keep them for a while uh, until we can come up with like a really crazy good storage system. Maybe like one of the ones that does um, uh, like Emmy, uh, where you you basically just store it all in uh, like a storage drive or something like that. And I might just kill you guys. You you guys, we have so much. We have so so much silk. That I don't think we'll ever, ever get rid of it. Um, I also did this. Um, I got rid of the other ones. Um, I was talking to one guy, and he basically said the, the 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 pipes that I was using, first off, are super slow. Secondly, are um, massively, massively laggy, depending on the version of the game you're playing. So what I've done is I replaced it all with the Ender IO stuff, and we're doing pretty solid. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, I've also been periodically getting rid of arrows and stuff. I also have a little chest of head over here. Uh, because, damn, we got a good chunk of heads. Now, that said, um, you can also see there's this cable. It goes down. It runs on along the ground. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Over here. Pops up. Bam. And it goes into the drawer controller. So... Now, anytime, uh, say a mob drop, right? Shows up, boom, 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 boom. We have all these mob drops. And we just have to keep a, a slight eye to make sure nothing overflows and, and, and fills. That's basically what we have to worry about at this point. But I think um, I think for the most part, we're okay. Oh, damn, we're getting close on the coal. I mean, that's not a bad thing to have be close on. Um, but yeah, that's our, our basic setup for the time being, guys. I also have this going. Um, we don't have a lot in there. I've been using the XP. Um, I thought this was a good idea up here. Making books with it. Thought it was a good idea, right? You put a, a blank book in there and then boom, boom, boom. And you can uh, you, you can add stuff. Um, not as good an idea as I thought. It, it's a little bit, it's kind of pricey and then I got an anvil down here. It's it's not great, but it's doing what we can for the enchants right now. Um, but yeah, guys. So today, I think we're going to mess around a little bit more with mechanisms. See what we can get done. And uh, kind of go from there. All right, guys. So I'm looking through the... Uh, ooh, I'm looking through the quest book. And I think we're just going to try to... We're going to try to knock out these. Maybe this one, too. Um... Copy paste. And yeah, maybe we'll look at that too. But I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to knock out the rest of this. And looking at it, uh, this is the or the too many variations or diction effixicator. I'm not sure how to say that. But what I think the idea is that I now understand what they're talking about. Because I had I read through this. Found five different variations of fox. Well, I've... I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that's not what they meant, but eh, fucks. Um, so the idea is that 
you have a bunch of different versions of copper or uh, steel is another one. I'm pretty sure there's like, uh, I'm not sure if we have railcraft, but I know steel is another one that has a bunch of different uh, versions depending on which it's from. The idea, I think, is that you can uh, change the, the ore dependent. So uh, we're going to make this. Oh, we also get to choose. We'll make this. Uh, it doesn't seem very hard. It's, but you'll see how like you'll, you're, it's going through, right? And it says the different. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it's saying the different, different steel ingots, but it is what it is. Um, thermal foundation, and then there's a bunch of different steels. So I'm gonna try to figure that out, and then I have to figure out how to make a dictionary. Oh, a book and a, a green one. Okay, easy. Still have a green one. I need I needed another two of those. Let's grab three of those total. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Oh, well, apparently it just disappears whenever you turf it. That's kind of cool. So we're gonna get uh, some yellow glass. Uh, one, two, th nope, not that. I need one of those and two, three. Make some more paper. Man, the amount of rice books I've made is getting a little bit excessive at this point. So, uh, I need a chest and some steel. Okay, I think we may actually have some steel cooked. Yeah, we do. One, two, three, four. And I just need a chest. I wonder if any chest will do. Or diction. Uh, all right, we're missing that. That's fine. One of those. It looks like any chest will do, but I need to make a chest. There we go. Give me the music. There's the music. Cool. All right. Uh, let's take these. We're running out. Okay, so that one's done. Uh, it's... A it's very is it is very personal, kid. Black chest or a backpack? Why not both? This chest is a double chest. It can be placed on the ground or open while in your hand. Very handy for long trips. That actually is kind of cool. Personal chest. A glass box. That's super easy. I just called it a glass box. I totally did, didn't I? Oh god. Oh, you guys are dicks for giving that as a quest reward. So unhappy by that. Ugh. Okay, you know what? We're we're gonna set this up, and I'll be right back. Cause this is gonna drive me fucking nuts if I don't get rid of this shit. Uh, I... Ingot copper. Oh, wow. Okay. Forget coming back. That was super fucking easy. I'm down with that. That's awesome. That was really not as hard as I was expecting. Oh, beautiful. Okay, cool. We don't have to come back. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going. Do we have any... Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, I just... I was gonna say, I'm like, there's the glass. I just saw it literally as I was asking. Um, okay. So, two chests, some steel. Chances we have more wood, we do not. Should probably actually set up that sawmill properly. What the hell is this thing called? Personal chest. Personal chest. 
personal nanobot be what okay we're gonna have to look at that later steel ingot oh i put the steel away by accident five pieces and give me the music yeah all right uh we'll take two we just used two so we'll take two uh doing the job for you very simple rf power auto crafter oh nice it's a formulaic assembler wait assemblicator five pieces of steel a machine or steel casing osmium glass okay cool we still have osmium hopefully we have osmium And then, and four pieces of glass, okay. And then four more pieces of steel. AC. That's done. Formulaic, I don't know this one. crafting or a crafting table and a chest uh that's not what i meant to do i meant to put it into the well i guess i yeah <laughs> i'm an idiot sometimes uh okay now we should be able to make it Give me that music. There it goes. Good job for you. Uh, it's going to give me a crafting formula. You set up the formula like assemblers to craft anything. It needs a crafting formula inserted into it. So yes, it can only craft one thing at a time. You set up the recipe in the formula like assembler. Put in the crafting formula and encode the pattern. You can now use it to craft that item either automatically or whenever you tell it to. Oh, that's interesting. Hit those. Is that a balloon? Leather. Wait, how many balloons do I need? I need five. I wonder if we have enough leather to do this. Leather and white dye. We had some leather kicking around here, but I don't know if we have enough. Shit, we had leather kicking around here. I have two pieces on me, but I was really sure we had more. Problematic. Well, shit. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to go look and look around for some leather, and uh, I will... Shit, I guess we don't. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go look uh, on the hunt for some leather, and I'll uh, I'll be right back. Bingo! That's how we're gonna do it, guys. Rotten flesh can be turned into leather. Might as well go broke. Why not? <laughs> Apparently, uh, it doesn't like doing that much of it. 
feel like I'm missing some. Wait, what? Oh, apparently it. Did I screw that up? What the fuck? I feel like I'm missing a bunch of that. Okay, so we have the leather now, but I'm very confused by what just happened. I wonder if there's like, if it... There's something in my inventory that's not... No, looks like it's... No. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Not gonna ask. Okay, so balloon. Apparently, I can't spell balloon. Uh, so we need leather, string, and white dye. Or white pigment. We have enough. Uh, we have string somewhere in here, right? Yeah, we do. And unfortunately, we needed five of them. Is that a balloon? Uh, damn right it's a balloon. Those can be used for cosmetic purposes or they can keep mobs in place. Right click with the balloon and uh, you will let go of it and it will fly up to its heart desire or free or freezes up in the atmosphere. Shift right click it with it and you will place it on the ground or on a mob. Okay. Shit, man, we got a couple of them. Well. That's there now. Oh, <gasps> oh, you can break it. Oh, that's. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, but you can't get it back, it looks like. Oh, dear God. Holy Christ. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, but. I guess when it was up there, it was in within uh, range of the muffler. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Whew. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna decorate the inspector's room. And when I say the inspector's room, I mean the Thawncraft room. Um, I did this up for him. I hope he doesn't hate my guts. Um, this was uh, basically what happened once I, I the turtles were on a mission. I uh, I got a bunch of uh, crystals and I was like, you know what? I want to give them to him so he can use them, but I didn't want to just toss them in a chest because he might not see them. So I figured I'd do a little area and if he th destroys it or breaks it, whatever, it, it, that's his deal. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to, he's going to see that, right? He's got to see that. Uh, I have zero use for that. Oh, I wonder if we could send things to the... Like, oh, does it, does it say if they'll float away? Make it hover above the ground, unable to move. Uh, can still be pushed around. Oh, that actually might be very beneficial in that case. Oh, cool. We get a spawn cow egg. You know what? I'm going to hold on to that. That's going to get saved. We're gonna use that later, guys, because I want to wait until we can, um, because we only have one, so we can't breed them or anything. But what we'll end up doing, we'll end up doing a mob uh, uh, spawner with that. Um, all right, power. What's it called? Power stock, network reader. This one can't be that hard. Oh, this was pretty simple. Give me that music. Yeah. All right, what's next? Uh, let's take this one. Uh, Ordix. Dictionary. Wait, I made that. Why didn't it count? Oh. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to get all mad about it. It's just... I don't particularly want to waste... Yeah, there it goes. Uh, at least it got me a loot chest. Okay. What's in the loot chest? Ooh, a hearty breakfast. Okay, that one's not bad. 
The saturation on that thing, my lord. Hoo-wee. That's, uh... Damn. All right. Well fed. Up next, Osmium Armor. Might as well, guys. Might as well. We, You know what? I think we have enough Osmium that we can probably just do that without worry. Oh, too much worry. We got... Uh, where's the Osmium? Four stacks. I think we only need one stack to do a full set of armor. So... I'm presuming it's the same... Uh... It's the same. I'm just, I'm just presuming. And bam. Well armed. Ding, da ding. Take that claim. And that's that section, guys. Look at that. So, it looks like the next section is all some of the, well, not all, but some of the advanced machines, like the, the, I wonder if these are going to count, because I already did them. Oh, we need a bunch of these to unlock it. Okay, do we have enough? 16. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, so you know what, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get enough of those going so we can unlock this and then we can take a look at the quests. And it's unlocked. I'm sure we're going to need a lot of those. So what I've actually done... Oh, what? yeah, nice. Loot chest. Oh, look at that. My first factory basic smelt. Guys, that's awesome. It's going to take... Oh, it actually is going to count them all. That's so cool. So happy for that. Wow. Uh, let's go speed upgrade. Daylight. Oh, we're, we're taking that. We're, we're definitely taking that. I, these I can make easy. This is not hard. That's not something I want to put a lot of work into. Oh my god, done. Yeah, guys, uh, I think we're going to wrap up for today. Um, if you enjoyed today's episode, give me a thumbs up. It goes a long way. Uh, and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, ding the bell so uh, you get notified of every new uh, episode. We're aiming for once a week at this point, guys. Uh, sometimes twice, depending on the week. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Cheers.